Hi guys, it's Efrit Nigerchik. Welcome to my channel. So this video I'm going to be showing you part 4 of my wash day. You can click the link to take you to part 1, 2, 3. That is the detangling, the hot oil pre-poo and how I mix my bentonite clay for washing my hair. Now I'm going to show you how I deep condition. I typically um, alternate between two deep conditioners. This one is texture control. Um, sheer butter and olive oil moisture intensive dual conditioner that I use. This is a moisturizing conditioner and then I usually alternate. Well, it's a hair mayonnaise. I usually use the one by um, Organics ORS, ORS Organic Root Stimulator. But on this certain day that I bought this, I thought let me just try something else. I already used the Ultimate Organic Therapy Cream and the Leave-In Conditioner as well as the Leave-In Mayo. So I thought let me just see how the actual hair mayonnaise treatment works. So I'm going to be using this since I used this the last time that I washed my hair. So yeah. Deep conditioning imparts moisture to your strands. It promotes elasticity, thus your hair is strengthened to withstand combing and tension. It reduces damage, so less breakage and split ends, and it imparts body, life and luster to hair. A few rules regarding deep conditioning. You want to do it regularly, so personally I do it with every wash day. You alternate between protein and moisturizing um, deep conditioners. Add heat, this could be by means of going under a hooded dryer or by means of a bonnet. This um, increases the impact of the deep conditioner. Focus on the ends as these are the oldest parts of your hair and are more fragile. So concentrate the deep conditioner there and then be aware of the ingredients. Some people's hair are sensitive to certain ingredients so know what your hair likes and avoid the things that your hair does not like. In terms of don't, do not use a leave-in or regular conditioner to deep condition as these are not formulated in the same way and will not penetrate your strands as well as a deep conditioner would. Also do not overdo it, you will not get more deep conditioning effect if you leave your deep conditioner for longer than 30 minutes to an hour, instead you might actually find your hair becomes too soft and mushy and thus again becomes um, at risk for breakage. So yeah, I'm just adding or slathering on the deep conditioner to my hair. I'm always generous when it comes to um, products applied for deep conditioning. Make sure it is especially concentrated on the ends of your hair since those are the oldest parts of your hair. Once I've finished the section, then I'll just twist it up and clip away. So far, I love the, um, the smell of the product and the consistency, it's nice and thick for, and it, it spreads easily onto the hair, so I am liking it thus far. I guess the results will be seen after I leave it in for a while and then wash it out. Once I've finished, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go under the caps. I'm gonna keep it on for about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour, I'll see how I'm feeling. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what goes down with wash day. Wash day can take anywhere from about 4-5 hours to about 6 hours depending on how long I leave the deep conditioner in the pre-poo if I use bentonite clay versus um, the shampoo because obviously like bentonite clay I need to keep it on for another 30 minutes or so but yeah 
I don't mind because the days that I want to wash my hair, I specifically set aside time for washing my hair so I give myself enough time. I'm not rushing anywhere. I don't make plans for that specific part of the day. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, tune in next week to see what I actually do in terms of styling for my hair after I washed out the deep conditioner. Thanks, bye!